Hello, it's Penny from Active and Fit. Today is Yoga Flow, 30 minutes. All you need is a nice space to flow. And if you do have any props, straps, bolsters, if you'd like to elevate your hips while seated, some stacked blankets, go ahead and grab those as well. Yoga should feel good. Make sure that you always keep a soft face and fluid breath. And you're always welcome just to find a comfortable posture and breathe deep. There's so much benefit for deep diaphragmatic breath. You'll notice my shirt is mind over matter, right? A lot of times our thoughts create our reality. So something to think about as we're flowing, where is our mind and how do we get it to a positive, better space so that we are better for ourselves and we can be better for others. So with that, we've got 30 minutes. Let's start in mountain pose. Be grounded, feeling the big toe, pinky toes and heels pressing down. Thighs are firm, belly's pulled in. We are nice and upright. Fingers reach down as your head reaches up. Let's just take a second to shut our eyes and come on in. Taking a second to enjoy the stillness. Noticing where we're at, no judging. Go ahead and open up our eyes. Take a big breath in. Exhale, hands to heart center. Bend your knees, fold forward. Let everything hang. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse your swan dive all the way up. Exhale, hands by your sides. Right arm reaches up, feet ground. Just open up that side body. You can look up, center, or down. Come back in, left arm up. Feel the feet grounding as your fingertips reach. center. Shoulders roll up and back. Palms press down. Loosen out your neck just to the front. Ear to shoulder. Chin to chest. Ear to shoulder. Even yourself out. Gently look up. Again, take that big breath in. I'm just going to give you a side view. Exhale. Fold forward. Let everything hang. Bend the knees. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend your knees. Pinky to pinky, palm to palm. Reverse swan dive. All the way up. Get a little taller, and then exhale, hands to your side. Feet ground, right arm reaches up, and we open up that side body, taking a little more space as the body opens. And release, switching, reaching up, opening up that side body. Gently coming down, shoulder rolls up and back. It's releasing a little bit from that neck and shoulder region. Release down, palms down, slow circles just to the front. Maybe letting a little more go. One 
One more in each direction. And then gently look up. Shake it out. Come to the very top of your mat. Mountain pose, standing tall, confident, sturdy. Inhale up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Full. Inhale, half lift. Now exhale, step back to the plank of your choice. Fingers are spread apart. We can be up in a full plank or in a kneeling plank. Shoulders are right over your wrists. Chins a little off of your chest. We feel that whole midsection engage right here. Keep tightening all of those muscles that support your spine. And then very slowly, we're gonna chaturanga down, upper arms into your rib cage. Meeting a baby cobra. Fingertips are on your mat. We lift up, tops of the toes press down. Make those hands come up off of the mat. Feeling that whole back body engage. Hands come down. We're going to pull back into child's pose. Knees open up, big toes together. Belly rests right between those thighs. We can shake it out a little bit or choose to stay still. Take a few deep breaths all the way into your belly right here. Nice, slow. 
go reverse swan dive all the way up. Exhaling, hands to heart center. We'll return back to mountain pose. Nice and tall. Feet are about hip width apart. Inhale up. Let's exhale into a chair. Flow. Keeping your chest up. So we inhale, expand. Exhale, sinking into your strong legs. Knees hang out with those toes. Going at your perfect pace. Inhaling. Exhaling. Feeling those feet. Ground. Let me give you a side view. Noticing that your chest does stay up as you sink back. We keep that nice long spine. Two more.
Inhale, expand. Exhale, sink in. Two more. One more. And we'll hold right here. Feeling the strength of your legs. Our face is calm, breath is calm. Let's open, fly, expand that chest. If it feels right, reach up. Maybe sinking in half of an inch lower. Embracing any trembling that's going on in that lower body. Hands to heart center. And gently return to mountain. Stepping back to the back of your mat, mountain pose. Toes forward, about hip width apart. Let's step forward with the left foot this time. Like our feet are on railroad tracks, so both hips are forward. And we're going to start with the elbows pressing back. We're going to hinge from the hip, keeping length in the spine, to an active pyramid. Really feeling that front. Left leg opening, the hamstring and calf. Hold right there, make sure those hips are down. Keep pressing those elbows together, opening your chest. Slowly hinge up. And this time, let's fly those arms. Chest is open, belly's in. Again, we hinge forward. Airplane arm till we are parallel with the mat. Chin is tucked in, space between your shoulders and your ears. Fingers are reaching back. Keep breathing. We'll slowly hinge up. Step back. Shake it out. For our next chair flow, we're gonna zip up those legs. Tandem. We're nice and tall. Hands are at heart center. We're gonna sink down into our tandem chair. Knees are level. Thinking of the right arm coming on the left side in a twist. So take a big breath in. Exhale, twist. Knees are nice and level, hips are back even, palms pressed together. Taking a few breaths, feel the inner thighs engage as your knees and heels press together. Now very slowly untwist, keep your chest up. Come up, open the upper back, shin tucks in. And then in all position, take the hands behind. You can place just those thumbs or take the palms together. Expand and open your chest. And release. Slight pressing of those palms, engaging your Abdominal, sink down. Again, knees are together. Upper left arm is going to rotate towards that right thigh. I'm just going to twist the opposite direction. Keep breathing. Upper arm can push against the thigh. Thigh against the upper arm. Position. Let's open up that chest. Palms can press together and lift up from behind your bottom. And then 
gently release. Shoulder roll up and back. Let's come to the back of your mat again. So thinking mind over matter, right? Sometimes that's what it is with balance. If you fall out, just tell yourself good job. We're gonna take the hands to heart center and this time, we're gonna start with the left foot. It's gonna step forward. And then we're just gonna slowly make a letter T for a warrior three. So you're gonna flex your right foot. Just start tipping forward. Maybe you choose to fly the arms, to reach, or maybe just keeping them right there at heart center. If you tap out, get back in. And just hold right there, breathing. And then see how gracefully you can step out, bring it in, shake it out. Mountain pose. Take a big breath in. Exhale, hands to heart center. Take that left leg, step it way forward and come into your high lunge. So the right hip is pushing forward. Hands are at heart center. We're really focusing on opening that right hip flexor. Now we're slowly gonna bring the hands to frame your foot. We've got the right hand inside the left, but we're gonna inhale, open up and twist. Maybe taking a half bind. Hold right there, opening that chest a little more. Take the hands to frame the foot. We're gonna step your back right leg in, come into a forward fold, let everything hang. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, really slow, reverse swan dive all the way up. Exhale, hands at heart center. And we're just gonna turn around so we're at the back of the opposite end of the mat. We're thinking about that warrior three. This time stepping forward with our right foot. And then taking our time as we start to make that letter T. Remember, if we fall out, tell yourself, good job, get back in. You can fly, you can reach, you can keep your hands right at heart center. Take a few minutes in this balance pose, breathing.
slowly release down. Step that back foot into join the front, forward fold. Let everything hang. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. And then very slowly reverse that swan dive all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Shake it out. One more time, zipping up those inner thighs. Press the palms, activate the belly. Let's sink back down, take a big breath in. Twisting one more time, right arm to left thigh. Twist. Breathe. Hips sink back, nice and even. Slowly untwist. Come up. Take your hands by your side this time with the legs together. Right arm up, stick your hip out, open up through that side body a little deeper. Feel the feet grounding as your fingertips reach. Release. Left arm up first, length. Let's take that hip out a little. Think about how much better your body is gonna feel after 30 minutes activating our stabilizers, opening up so we have better posture, better spinal alignment, taking deep breath to calm the mind. Release. Hands at heart center, zip up those inner thighs, sink down. One more twist. Left arm on that right thigh. Just take a look wherever it feels good. Keeping fluid breath. elevate your hips up. Now for some of us, right here is enough. Fingertips to the ground, nice and tall. Toes are up to the sky. For others, we may be able to exhale, hinge forward a little bit. Take a big breath in, exhale, hinge. Some of us may be able to take our arms down maybe even to reach all the way out. Just find where you can melt in and then you can shut your eyes. And just think of the body getting heavier every exhale. Using sinking breath every exhale, our body gets a little heavier. We release a little more. Maybe noticing if we're holding anything in the jaw the neck, the shoulders, and on that exhale, shaking it out, let it soften.
you an hinge up. Come into a comfortable seat. Palms are up. Shoulders are soft or palms can be down. Let's just shut our eyes and come back in again. Maybe noticing if our body feels more open. If our mind's a little calmer. Or even if our energy is shifted. We're gonna spend one minute just settling into the stillness and peace that we've created. Breath returns to normal. right? Mind over matter. Penny from the Active and Fit program, thank you so much for joining. Until next.